Adam are very similar people. We were talking once and we discovered that we did the exact same type of creating thing when we were young. <laughs> I was a creative child, but I was enabled far too much <laughs> by my parents. <laughs> Most of the things that we were really pleased to find out that each other both did were it's like these weird entrepreneurial <laughs> ideas. But the first one isn't so much entrepreneurial, it's just like over the top, like, why is this happening? Me and my sisters oh made my books, <laughs> storybooks. There's little me. <laughs> and there's the books, and <laughs> there's my sisters. This one is a personal favourite. This one was written um, by my sister Caroline. It's called The Big Jump. She cut up a bit of a swimming cap and stuck uh, it in so that it was interactive. <laughs> oh, it's, it's cracking. I hate this. Yeah, you can really see the wear and tear. There's terrible Tony. Oh, I don't know. I remember a section of this. I don't know why his nipples are so big. <laughs> What's happening there? What's going on with his foot? So it's basically uh, Horrid Henry. Sure. I've copied the idea. All the children sat at their desks. Tony put his feet on his. Tony Williams said his teacher, get your shoes off your desk immediately. Yes, Miss Terry. <laughs> that's, not, that's not terrible. Everyone stood up, but there was one thing wrong. Tony was standing on his chair. So far, what he's done is he's put his feet on his desk and he stood on his chair. Wow, how dare he. <laughs> just escalate so quickly. At playtime, Tony tied a little boy's shoelaces together and smashed his classroom window with a brick. <laughs> putting those on the same level. Does he have a redemption art? I didn't finish the book. Okay. This is where it began. <laughs> the magic dragon. <laughs> My sister drew the covers for me. It's not a bad drawing of a dragon actually. Mum asked Joe, when you were little did your dreams ever come true? Look how I spelled true. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. She said no and he's like so I guess mine won't come true. They might. How? Because everybody is different. <laughs> There's a lion in a cage. There's a giraffe. This is a horrible zoo. <laughs> Where did I get this from? No, <laughs> she's reading this paper. <laughs> it's like I was like, okay, so she's gonna be reading the newspaper. I'll draw her for. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like quite a lot of children do this, but they don't necessarily go all the way that we did. They would play like the, you know, making a newspaper, but I don't think they'd actually print out the newspaper and have a very good time on Publisher. Publisher? <laughs> What's this? Um, What's happening here? It's an explosion. It's actually a screenshot from Power Rangers, because that's all I have. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Please call. <laughs> if you see any people breaking into banks, please call this number. <laughs> and it's not like you put 999. Was that your own that phone number? That was my home number. number. <laughs> Ghost of Tesco is my personal favourite. I really like the layout. <laughs> this <laughs> paragraph. That's really good. A married couple saw two orbs <laughs> fly across the sea. <laughs> How did you know the word orbs? We was a lot of most wanted. <laughs> I like how they called the police and evacuated Tesco because they saw two orbs. <laughs> two orbs. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin in London. <laughs> Buy one alien, get one egg free. I also had a newspaper, but it was very different in that, spoilers, <laughs> in that it was the news of the house. Oh my god. Magic show, 31st of August, tickets on sale. <laughs> I just like, I don't know how to put a picture, so I've just drawn it. There's a new restaurant around. It's in the room downstairs, is <laughs> what this basically says. What puzzles is it? meant to be. I don't know. So Is that a pie chart? This looks like it was going to be a word search. Yeah. I also started uh, a library of the books that I owe <laughs> to my family who also own books. <laughs> the one page catalogue you may have received with this new paper is to be looked at. If you see something you like and want, write down the number beside on a piece of paper and hand it to me. You will receive within two weeks. And if not, I apologise <laughs> for what was I giving them. I think I'd seen a catalogue happening and I was like well this is obviously something I need to do why would any of them want that speaking of catalogues I really liked Argos as a child when he'd get close to the new Argos catalogue release date I'd get really excited uh -huh. and sometimes I'd go online and essentially spoil myself uh -huh. before we went to the shop to get the catalogue <laughs> okay. and so I was the store manager at my Argos <gasps> next to our door we had these shelves where all our toys would be kept so I'd move those off and like close the door so I'd Put my head through the little gap in the shelf. Okay. So that would be the the desk. And also I made my my own <gasps> Argos catalog. Did you take an actual Argos yeah. catalog and cut the logo? The first page is Power Rangers, and it's got a flip insert, and it was just you know I'm the rest just, of the crap that doesn't matter. <laughs> You've just taken an Argos catalog and ruined it. My parents come upstairs, order something, and have them wait at the collection point. Order oh, number five hundred and seven to your collection point, and I'd give them nothing. Because I would not have a fireplace in stock. <laughs> it was mostly toys, which... Oh, and video cassettes. 
Oh yeah, of course. Because it's 2003. Once I had moved on from providing catalogues and newspapers <laughs> to my family, I decided my skills were now a professional enough standard to take them to school. I had these little, like the same concept as Beanie Babies, but not quite. Smushy toys, but they've got a zip on their mouth, and I think the name was something to do with a zip. It was like Zippy Friends. Or something. <laughs> and you open it, and it's a book, educational book about Cute. that animal. Got a couple of these, and I decided to just relay all the information I learned into uh, an info <laughs> comic. I made like five of them, and then the teacher let me go at the front and pick the five people that I chose to give it to. <laughs> Animal books. The life cycle of a frog. I feel like I've seen that frog picture once before. Oh, you have a copy, do you? <laughs> <laughs> of one of the five. You like wish this. you were one of the five. <laughs> Apparently I thought everyone would want this information and they needed to know, and they needed to know from me. More exciting titles to look forward to. <laughs> the first one is a pun. What's the tale behind mermaids? But there is no... T I think these were educational. <laughs> a wealth of substance. <laughs> Weird creatures of the deep and lots more. Oh, oh, this is a ad. I've just spotted what the second edition was. I <laughs> I handed this out. I think I used the school photocopier and I handed this out. And the, really. the title is <laughs> Having Babies with Seahorses. You know, five people in the world might have a copy of this. <laughs> I think they'll find them one day and be like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> no, I think they'll remember and be like, oh, sick, a classic, let me sell on eBay. <laughs> Underwater, the seahorses are swimming around, but sooner or later, something else will be happening. <laughs> the mother seahorse gives her eggs to the dad, <laughs> to the dad, who fertilises them and keeps them safe. If they go for a swim on by your own, <laughs> they might get eaten by any big fish like Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a man seahorse and a woman seahorse, so I've drawn eyelashes on the woman seahorse. That's how they identify the sex of seahorses in the sea. The female seahorses were mascara. When the seahorses are old enough to get their own food, their mother sort of abandons them <laughs> and then it starts all over again. I like the dolphin. That's yeah. not bad. Just like these four massive legs. <laughs> all children generally at least know how many tentacles an octopus has. Like, What's he on? A, a podium of some sort. This one oh, I was a little bit older word art. and I discovered Word Art. The art comic. Issue one. I'd also discovered Clipper. It's also, again, not finished. Draw your best friend. The prize is chocolate. Make up your own joke. Again, the prize is chocolate. <laughs> Make up a little rap about a certain time. Christmas, <laughs> Easter, New Year, New Year's Eve. <laughs> I've done a rap on the back of the comic. <laughs> I've done a yeah. rap on the back of the comic to give you an idea. I don't know if I have. <laughs> no, there's no rat. None of this is art. It's just making no. you do the art. Where does the general keep his armies? Up his sleeves. Tee-hee. <laughs> 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 In that focus. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> Were you being ironic? <laughs> no. I thought this looked sick and I still do. <laughs> now try your own. Try your own what? <laughs> try your own. I don't know. But I clearly thought it needed a border of squirrels. <laughs> waste of ink. <laughs> what a waste of life. The last one was called the Oops comic. <laughs> Contents. Page one. Contents. Two. Fun and games. Three. The story of Bill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the rip off of your art comic. There's a key and you've got to crack the code. Can we crack the code? Yeah, sure. T. T. H. O. I. O. S. This. This. C. O. D. E. This code. This code is. Easy. To crack. This code is easy to crack. Wow, I feel attacked. We committed to doing this. <laughs> we did that. With the crossword. Clues. An instrument played with your hand. I that's mean, quite that's hard. That's <laughs> the animal with eight legs. Oh, the story of Bill. Bill wakes up on his birthday. He gets dressed, ready for school. Then he goes downstairs to open his toys. Here you go, says Bill's mum. We hope you like it. As his dad, Bill unwraps the present, only to find... Try and finish off the story. That's it. It's not even a story. It's another thing where I make them <laughs> try and your best friend. It can't be me. I didn't put it can't be me because I thought everyone was my friend. It was because I was worried people would hand in offensive pictures of me. Like, I didn't want to receive all these pictures and be really offended by how shit they were. What is one plus one? Tell me the right answer first and you'll win a mini me. How to draw. I copied this out of a book. Out of Tackle Smart, one of them. And I just traced the how to draw. You can learn lizards. And gorillas. I really like the step one of the gorilla as well. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> first I got his head. Then I erased some of the more detailed features. See, it's all about learning, and I was learning. When you're done, give this page back to me. The person with the funniest one wins a mini maze. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you got? <laughs> absolutely desperate to get rid of this mini maze. My favourite thing about this is that even though I'm the one creating it, I've still had quite a lot of trouble solving it myself. <laughs> Who got the target? I 
I literally couldn't tell you. They follow a trend, don't they? That ended my comics at school. They went really well. Well, they cancelled. The company went under and was forced to sell its only mini maze. So while you were making comics, I had a lot of plastic food. So the plastic food dictated what went on the menu. So the family gathering. Mm -hmm. All the kids would run away and I'd set up the restaurant with them. And my family would be chatting about like boring adult things. And yeah. I'd run and be like, hi, can I take your order? For the main course, chicken nuggets, turkey legs, <laughs> fish fingers, veggie meal deal. I don't know what that is. Probably just vegetables. Fried egg or a scrambled egg. You know, scrambled egg in plastic. Yeah. How'd they do that? I don't think I knew what a scrambled egg was. So okay. it was just an egg. Peppers, chips, beans or peas. That's weird. Just peppers for 10 pence. I love that. What a bargain. Like that you've clarified what ketchup is. Yeah. It's like ketchup, brackets, tomato sauce, just in case you're unfamiliar. Sorry, what's coloured sugar? I don't know. What does know. that mean? But then this one is just so offensive to my eyes and I don't understand what's going on. In fairness, it looks like what a lot of shit menus look like. Yeah. You've really got the price like, <laughs> absolutely perfect. <laughs> That's what I've got from higher prices, what's clearly. It, what's it called? La boo. La boo. <laughs> I was fancy, Kim. <laughs> but it closed at 7 p.m. <laughs> open at 10.30 till 7, because that's when you're allowed to be awake. Yeah. My favourite thing about this is the title of the restaurant. The title of the restaurant. <laughs> I just noticed as well, small egg and milk for <laughs> your breakfast. That's you. You're the small I egg. I have a small egg and milk. Cream cake. Double, Double cream, cream cake. cake. Wine or beer or larger. So I went from my from one calf another calf or restaurant whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. right so you go more middle class la brick <laughs> what would you like for la, la brick well, the main course is we've got a chicken leg and salad delight delicious shrimp and turkey you like heard those things you're like what do posh people eat <laughs> <It's so> weird. <laughs> a combo of turkey and shrimps served with a <laughs> shrimp <laughs> served with a slice of carrot <laughs> and a lump of peas <laughs> Of peas. I don't know why I went with a single slice of carrot because I vividly remember my carrot portions were all stuck together in one lump of plastic. <laughs> Soft drinks, one pound twenty each. <laughs> Alcohol. Do you think what my parents drink is just Budweiser or Malibu? <laughs> together. <laughs> the breakfast is waffles and sausage with milk. <laughs> what is it? Why is that there in the breakfast? <laughs> Everything's with a cup of warm milk except when we get down here. Which is a hot dog <laughs> with a carrot. <laughs> no, not with it, we're just with carrot. With carrot, sorry, yeah. Side orders, egg, pound thirty. a fried egg for your meal and you to enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> for your meal and you to enjoy together. A sweet corn stick with carrots and peas, that's not a salad. Did your family enjoy the restaurant? Yeah, they loved it. Good. I'm glad we both did restaurant type things. I think mine was like, I would make them a bacon roll. <laughs> oh, you'd actually provide them with something. I think so, yeah. Once primary school was coming to an end, Pokemon cards had been banned because people would swap them and then cry about it. Those alien things had been banned because everything got banned at school. And I was like, aha, uh -huh, there's a gap in the market for collectibles. <laughs> My dad had given me bakeable clay, so it's like the, the type of plasticine that you put in the oven and it goes hard. I made these characters that I felt like I'd invented. And I called them... Googly wooglies. Now this, I would say, was my biggest endeavour. Primary school, I think I was selling for like 20p. So I was not making a profit. A great selection of merchandise from just 5p. Oh. <laughs> There's the example of the colours you could get them. Googly wooglies were invented in 2005. They took just three days to become very popular. And before <laughs> long, over 80 people had one. That's not true. This is the first draft, written on like maths paper. I obviously wrote this out in my book, and I was like, I've got an idea, I've got to run with it. The most comprehensive look at Googly Wooglies was the official Googly Wooglie catalogue. There are many types of Googly Wooglies. I have listed all of them. A Googly Wooglie cannot have arms, fins, wings of any kind. It must have two feet, and cannot have any more than one eye, unless it is a penguin. A GW can have any of the following mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Objects for your Googly Wooglie are available, such as spoons, bowls of food, and dummies. Boys at school, they would ask for a Googly Wooglie, I'd make it for them, I'd bring it in, and they would spin it on its head and see how long they could spin it for. And all the girls were like, looking after them, like little collectible figurines. So I made spoons and dummies and bowls for the girls to have as accessory. And I didn't mean to gender it like that, that's just what happened. <laughs> they came so up at my school that they were banned in lesson time. I couldn't keep like, up with demand and they couldn't shut down the craze. <laughs> the special features are they can jump really high. When they eat, they don't go to the toilet. The food turns into normal air and just comes out of their body. I don't need to get too excited, but I actually have on hand some real googly wooglies some real from the time. This is the giant one. Oh, he is big. He is big, isn't he? This Hi. is a penguin one. These were a personal fave. Oh, they're so robust. Yeah, they are, aren't they? This one. Now, this is a character, and it was Scottish. It's wearing a kilt. Whose kilt did you rip that off? <laughs> <laughs> Probably Mum's. You've got your bog standard googly woogly, right? This is your bog standard googly woogly. Oh, it looks like a minion. Oh, it does a bit. Do you think I can claim them on copyright? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! Ah! Oh! 
Oh my god, he is tiny. <laughs> you haven't skimped things. on the details. I really haven't. They're worth that 20p. <laughs> They're really good quality. I can't really, I'm getting all this back out. And I'm like, does anyone want to buy a googly woogly? Is <laughs> that a pair? No, this one's a penguin again, because that's the oh, one yes, that allows to have two eyes. eyes. <laughs> keep up. Would you have purchased a googly woogly oh, from me back wouldn't. in the day? I found a polystyrene ball this big, and I made an even gianter one. To this day, for the past almost 15 years, has been at the top of our family Christmas tree every single year. The last thing is again something that I sold at school, using the bakeable clay. This one I'll always have a special pride about, because I was showing this to people at school. They were placing orders. A teacher saw it, she confiscated it. About half an hour later when the lesson ended, she gave it back to me and she ordered one for her daughter. Ah! <laughs> it was my proudest moment. Imagine confiscating this from a child about, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think she must have just thought it was cute. I was really proud of this. This was KN Designs. Was, oh. Yeah, get it? Beautiful. Is that comic fans, Kim? Uh, it could be, Adam. <laughs> Design your own, choose from ours. <laughs> a match colour, simple bracelet designs and a range of colours. From the people who brought you googly wooglies and piggy bracelets. <laughs> the piggy bracelets were my favourite. I don't have evidence of them. Same concept, except the, all the beads were piggies. Is that a picture you've taken of yeah. the actual... See, these are actual bracelets that I physically made and took pictures of and then put them together on publisher at school. <laughs> that poor person I've made wear all these bracelets. <laughs> I think that might have been my friend Bethan. Someone bought an S. Obviously it's a horse girl because they bought one that's an S and Oh, I like how you've created also like a virtual replica on paint. Like you've got all the styles over exactly, here. Exactly, yeah. So 80 pounds under the price Look is for materials honest, and tools. What an honest company I was. Each bracelet costs exactly one pound on its own. Each bead cost 10 pence, but there are some bigger and more expensive ones. I was completely underselling myself. These are great. I'd sell these now. You really knew <laughs> the uh, interests of your classmates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <true>. Chocolate, music, <laughs> hockey. Horses. <laughs> Footballs, flowers, hearts. <laughs> I had everyone's name, what they ordered, whether or not they paid. Four piggies, 40p. That should have been more. The piggies were really hard to make. I've decided the back page is my favourite. The designs are created by KN Designs and not copyrighted, but if you value your life, I suggest you do not produce any counterfeit designs. <laughs> Bella's kids, <laughs> again. I had friends in high places. <laughs> Another thing I used to do is I used to like make cookies and bring them in. How much did you sell your cookies for? I think 50p. Yeah. I was undercutting the canteen, definitely. And I had like this ongoing thing of lunch money for a while that was just other people's <laughs> lunch money. <laughs> so yeah, those were all our weird endeavours as kids. My parents never paid for the restaurant. Yeah, that's outrageous. You should build them now. <laughs> if you did anything similar as a child, please let me know. All of my stuff here came out of that suitcase that I mentioned before that is the most terrifying thing in the world. I was a really busy child and I did lots of these things, but conveniently I was also a massive hoarder. So I had <laughs> literally everything I ever did, including a box of googly woogly. If you'd like to bid on this, <laughs> let me know. I'll start the bidding at £3. Thanks very much. This has been Adam. This has been me. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>